Cloud Endure performs migration of any application or database from any source, including physical, virtual, or cloud, to AWS. In this demo, we'll walk you through how to easily set up and test your machines in preparation for cutover, with no performance disruption. To get started, we have logged into the Cloud Endure user console. This drop-down menu provides access to all your Cloud Endure projects. We will now show an on-premises to AWS migration project. First, we set the replication settings on the Setup and Info page. For this demo, I've selected on-premises as my source infrastructure, which is shown as other infrastructure. For my target infrastructure, I've selected AWS US East Ohio. Here's the Machines page, where you can track the data replication status of your machines. To add machines to the Cloud Endure user console, you need to associate your account with a license package. A license enables activation of a single agent on a single source machine. You can see all of your licenses in the Licenses tab. Migration licenses are single use and typically expire in 90 days. Accounts registered through AWS Marketplace are automatically assigned licenses. Back on the Machines page, we already have a WordPress application server in sync, which is one part of a two-tier application. Now we'll add a MySQL machine, which is the database server associated with this application. Instructions for installing the Cloud Endure agent on Windows or Linux machines can be found through the Help menu. Installing this lightweight agent has no system impact and does not require a reboot. Cloud Endure migration was designed to facilitate large-scale migration projects and easily plugs into migration factories. Back on the Machines page, we can check the replication status of the new machine. To get a drill down of the replication process, click on the machine name. The initial sync of a new machine happens entirely in the background with no performance impact and no downtime. Replication begins with a sequence of checkpoints to establish connectivity between the Cloud Endure agent, the Cloud Endure console, and your AWS region. After the initial sync, Cloud Endure only needs to synchronize the deltas, which we do using block level continuous replication. This is how we enable very short cutover windows. Now let's take a look at the machine's blueprint. Here you can define exactly how you want your target machines to be launched, including machine type, target subnet, private IP, and other settings. As you can see, the initial sync of this machine is complete, and the new machine is in continuous data replication mode. The time it takes to complete the initial sync depends on your total bandwidth and latency, and whether your connection is dedicated for replication. Both applications are now synced. To demonstrate Cloud Endure's continuous data replication, we'll make changes on the web layer that will commit to the MySQL backend database. Cloud Endure will then immediately replicate the changed data. Now let's jump over to the live WordPress blog. We'll create a new post with the current time so that we can check that the target machines are spun up with the most recent version of the blog. The new post is now published. In the background, the Cloud Endure agent has already recognized the right I.O. operations, captured the blocks, and replicated them asynchronously into a staging area in AWS US East Ohio. You can launch a target machine by checking the box to the left of each machine and selecting Test Mode or Cutover Mode under the Launch Target Machines menu. For this demo, we will select Test Mode. We suggest that you perform a migration test at least a week prior to your planned cutover in order to identify and resolve any potential issues. To perform the actual cutover, select Cutover Mode. Let's start the test. When you click Continue, the machines will be launched and will be automatically converted to running AWS instances. To keep this demo short, we fast-forwarded the launch of the target machines, but the actual time it took was around two minutes. During these two minutes, Cloud Endure's automated orchestration engine took the latest snapshot of the source servers and started creating AWS resources. It then orchestrated the machine conversion process to launch fully functional workloads in AWS. This process involves making bootloader changes, injecting hypervisor drivers, and installing any tools that may be needed. Now let's verify that the launch target machines are in fact identical to the source machines. We can get the IP address of the application server by clicking on it and navigating to the target tab. As you can see, the newly spun up target machines include the changes that we made on the source machine right before launching the test. The test was indeed successful and the machines are now ready for cutover. This concludes our migration demo. We look forward to hearing from you.